I don't know if you've heard, um, but there is a new Deadpool movie in production as we speak. Well, actually, it's done production now, right? They wrapped up. They complete. They completed shooting it, and now they're in post production and rapidly trying to get this thing all done and ready for theaters. Maybe, hopefully, showing it to us at CinemaCon. I know Rob's still holding out hope for that. I don't think it's going to happen, but I'm going to believe that Rob will be right. At least that's what I'm going to hope. You never know. Hope now, spring is eternal. Recently, right. we've been hearing about a lot of different cameos are going to pop up, and with the multiversal nature of the movie, that kind of makes sense. Well, apparently, one of the people that was supposed to do a cameo in this movie was the great Vinnie Jones as the juggernaut, bitch. Uh, was supposed to be, but apparently he turned it down and for kind of a weird reason. Anyway, this comes from the folks over at Variety who wrote the following. Deadpool star Karan Sony, who plays Dopinder, told Variety this week that a ton of surprise cameos were filmed for the upcoming third installment, Deadpool and Wolverine, adding, let's just say a lot of people traveled to London for filming. One actor who apparently did not make it to London was Vinnie Jones, who debuted as Juggernaut in X-Men The Last Stand. Jones recently told Yahoo Movies UK that he turned down a request to reprise the character in Deadpool and Wolverine because getting in his Juggernaut suit isn't the best experience. <laughs> Vinnie Jones said this, Funnily enough, I just got asked to do Deadpool, the new one now, and I spoke to the director and I just said, it's such a drama putting on that suit. Uh, putting that suit on and mentally and physically, Joan said, it has its mental toll as well because you're in it and you can't do anything all day. You can only drink through a straw. So we couldn't strike a deal for Deadpool and Wolverine, says Vinnie Jones. All right. First of all, Vinnie Jones is kind of a really good microcosm representation of X-Men 3 The Last Stand. <laughs> kind of cheesy, kind of bad, but oddly kind of cool at the same time. I and listen, X-Men The Last Stand isn't one of the better X-Men movies, but I, I still contend it had its moments. And even though Vinnie Jones was kind of like a caricature of what the Juggernaut would be, come on, who in the theater and in the audience didn't kind of go, yeah, when he was saying, I'm the Juggernaut, bitch, or what, you know, I, I just kind of like, I would have liked That's to have seen it. That's when you finish your drink. <laughs> so. That's when you just chug it. Here's the thing. I do find it admittedly a little bit odd saying, I'm not going to be in this movie because getting in the costume is hard. I mean, listen, Vinnie Jones is as hard nosed an SOB who's in the movie industry kind of as it gets and as it comes. I mean, like, so no one's going to be accusing him or dare suggesting that he's any kind of a wussy, but I mean, really? You're, you're, you're going to pass on being in Deadpool movie because it's hard to get into the costume. And, and at first, and there's a, there's another side to this coin here. I'll get to in a second. At first I was kind of thinking there, there are people out there who are working in a hot kitchen all day in 120 degrees, like flipping burgers and doing whatever else. I mean, that's hard. There are people who work road construction for 10 hours a day, like working on hot asphalt and digging ditches. That's hard. Getting into a costume? Really? That's that's the hard thing? <laughs> now, I will admit, though, once I thought about it a little bit more, I thought to myself, okay, but what's he getting out of it? Right. Because if it's just a cameo. Like they're, they're not going to give him half a million dollars to show up for a day of shooting. No. He, it, it, some people might have thought this, but it's a re very real possibility. They were offering him like five thousand bucks or fifteen thousand bucks to come down for the day. And then maybe if you're Vinnie Jones, you're like. Is doing that what I had to go through to get into that juggernaut outfit? Is, is that worth what a first class flight might cost me to get there? Is it worth, you know, $15,000 for me to come down for a day? I look, and by the way, I'm not, I don't know that that's what they were offering, but it very well could have been in that neighborhood. And then I started to soften on it a bit. Like, well, maybe it's not so ridiculous. Like it'd be stupid of me to turn down being uh, like for me, me, John Campy to appear in Deadpool three, because 
I think I look stupid in that shirt. I look stupid in every shirt, but whatever. If I, but if, but if then I found out they were only going to pay me 20 bucks to do it, then yeah, it's not worth the hassle to me. So I don't know. We want to take a second and thank a sponsor of today's video, Factor. You know, guys, some days it's great to prepare your own meal, but some days it's great to have wonderful, delicious meals already ready to go. Factor's delicious, ready to eat meals makes eating better every day easy. Wherever tomorrow takes you, be ready with pre prepared, chef crafted, and dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. You'll have over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, and more. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition packed add ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. So what are you waiting for? Get started today and have a feel good week of meals ready to go. They've got snacks, smoothies, and more. Discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day like breakfast, midday bites, and more. And guys, you get to save. We've done the math. Factor is less expensive than takeout and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. So guys, head to factormeals.com slash campia50 and use the code campia50 to get 50% off. That's code campia50 at factormeals.com slash campia50 to get 50% off. Anyway, Rob, you heard, hear what Vinnie Jones has to say. First, okay, let's stick with Vinnie Jones for now. Like, what do you think about, you know, them asking him to be, would you have been interested in seeing him in it? What do you think about why he's not being in it? And then expand it a bit. If they're asking Vinny Jones to be in this thing, who else is going to be in this thing? What do you think about this? Oh, everybody is going to be in this thing. <laughs> I mean, it, it, I can hear Gary Oldman from The Professional, everyone, you know, I mean, it, it's, so it doesn't surprise me. We had Juggernaut in Deadpool 2. You know, there was there was the Juggernaut in, in, in Deadpool 2. That an wasn't awesome a, Juggernaut, by the way. An awesome Juggernaut. So I can understand. But, you know, I'm sure they wanted to get Vinnie Jones back. I can only imagine the jokes they'd make about X-Men 3. It'd be pretty damn funny um, to to see. But, you know, I, I can understand, like, if you don't, if you're just showing up to be seen and there's not a lot of substance there for you, I can understand him not necessarily wanting to go to trouble for very little return whether it's financial or even in the movie, like, you know, if I had something that was going to be really memorable. So I can understand him not wanting to necessarily do it. I, I And it does bring up the idea that I hope this movie just isn't a potpourri of cameos that don't have any weight or gravitas behind them. I'd like to see, I, I mean, look, the joke in Deadpool, was it Deadpool 1 when they go to the X mansion and they see all the X-Men in the one room or was that behind two? the door? Uh, Behind the door. Behind the door in the second one. That was worth it. Like that moment was worth it, but that was because they were filming another, you know, they had those characters together because they were filming an X-Men movie. That was worth it. But, you know, if that's the whole movie and it was like that, it might not be so attractive for him to come back. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, and again, like I was saying, maybe the money wasn't worth it and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, Chris. <laughs> You, you hear this coming from Benny Jones. What do you think about him not coming back? And then same question that I put to Rob, like what does this imply to you, if anything, about who else we could see popping up in this thing? What do you think? Like Rob, everybody, get ready to see Ray Park as Toad again. Uh, it's, <laughs> I wouldn't yeah, doubt it. <laughs> absolute nightmare. Oh, my gosh. I hope they do that line again, too. Oh, cinema. So good. <laughs> oh, I guarantee you. If Ray Park is in the movie, oh yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Just a lovely Ryan if it, Reynolds. Hey, Halle Berry herself tell? says that line again. I want Ryan to take it though. I want him to be like, say it, do the line, Talk say it, say it. the <laughs> line. <laughs> I want it so much. Um, okay, first of all, I am not going to give Vinnie Jones any shit. One because he's Vinnie Jones. Two because I used to work for the Mouse as an intern, and I was friends with King Louis and Mister Smee. <laughs> and I would cry inside my suit because I am so claustrophobic. Um, getting in this booth, you guys, actually has been a very uphill battle for me. Um, we've, we've made big strides. We've made big strides here. But when I would wear those suits, I would be absolute panic. You sweat through your clothes in a 60 degree room. Like I, it was miserable. It was miserable and I was making minimum wage. Um, so I can understand being uncomfy. Now, as an actor, I do those jobs, though, but because I am so low on the list of people who you would put in an X-Men movie that I'd be like, yes, yeah, whatever. I'll do anything. I don't give a shit. 
I'll do craft services. Let's go. So for me, it would make sense to do something like this. Like you brought up, John. But if he doesn't feel comfortable, if it's not the right amount of money, plus he also, you know, he's got the gentleman just dropped. Um, yeah. And I don't know if you guys have gotten to tune in yet. He's phenomenal. Like, I think that he's the standout of this series, honestly, because it's he's just playing this this very quiet gameskeeper. It's a very different kind of side of him. I was also such a huge fan of his in Gallivant, which was tragically cut after two seasons. He did wonderful work in that. So, you know, he might have some other things in the fire. And I don't know, too, if the money's not worth it, if the time doesn't work out, if you're already in a comfy suit. I don't know if you do want to revisit such a memeable line. Mm. Some actors would do it. Some actors might also go, no, thank you. And like I, maybe he's just like also part of him is just I just want to move past that. Yeah. You know, yeah. the guy who plays Schmidt, people yell at him all the time. New girl lines <laughs> where they'll be like 29. How many times do you think people see Vinnie Jones and yell juggernaut bitch? I mean, that has to be a constant. It's a bold thing to do. Just, just, just a strong man. But <laughs> do you think it? do you guys think it's different, though, if. You know, they came to him and they said, you know, it's not going to be Deadpool and Wolverine and Juggernaut, but we've got, you know, an actual role for Juggernaut in it. And he's going to have like 15 minutes of screen time. Do you think that changes Vinnie Jones's maybe outlook on this? Or do you think the whole thing about, you know, the the pain in the ass it is to get into that costume? I mean, I saw somebody in live chat saying all he had to do was put on a helmet. No, there was that full bodysuit. Now, he didn't have to get claustrophobic like you and put something like go into a full costume or anything like that. But yeah. do you think if it was like a more meaty role that maybe it was something he would maybe do? Or do you think all this other stuff is just like, nah, he just wants to get past the juggernaut? What do you think? Potentially, if it was a juicy role, then maybe he could withstand being in that uncomfortable suit. But on the other hand, if he really absolutely hates that suit, maybe to be like more time. Fuck y'all. I'm not doing that. Vinny Jones wouldn't say y'all. He'd get very fun and cocky <laughs> about it. But you know what I mean? All right, guys, question is for you. What do you think about that? Apparently, Vinnie Jones was officially offered a cameo as Juggernaut in the upcoming Deadpool and Wolverine. Do you like the reason? Is it understandable why he didn't do it, especially considering it was going to be just such a small little quick cameo? And for the rest of you guys, if they were asking him to come back, who else do you think they're asking? How many cameos do you think we're going to see in this thing? Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.